Hi guys, Tech James here. So a brand new version of Doom has actually been made for the PS Vita and this version was actually made using Unity. So it's like the original Doom um, but it's 3D, you know, more like the modern Doom games. Um, so yeah, if you guys would like to get this, all you want to do is go ahead and open up Vita Shell over on your PS Vita. Um, once Vita Shell loads, go ahead and press select. Let's go and connect this to our PC and I will show you guys what's soon next. So guys, over on your computer, I will leave a link to Doom Vita um, in the description of this video. Right now, this is actually the demo version. It was made by this guy right here, um, Gam by Cures. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Um, if you guys want to get it, all you have to do is scroll down and just click download the VPK. So as I said, this is made by Unity. There's a few screenshots of it right here. The VPK is around 73 megabytes. So let's just wait for this to download. And once it's done, we can go ahead and copy it onto our PS Vita. Okay, so once the download is done, let's go over to our downloads folder and let's find where we've got our VPK file. So here is mine, now just like normal, we're going to get this and just drag and drop it pretty much anywhere you want on your PS Vita. I'm just going to put it on the root. I've already got it, I'm just going to click replace real quick. I'm going to wait for this to copy across and when it's done, I'll go back onto my PS Vita, I'll install it and I'll show you guys what the gameplay is like. Now we are back on our PlayStation Vita, let's scroll down and let's go onto our UXO. From here we can scroll all the way down and let's find our VPK file. So um, here it is, Doom Vita, let's just press X on this, X again and then X one more time and it should just start installing for us. So let's just wait for this to install and then it should add the app to our home screen. Okay, so once it has done, let's just close our view shell and let's have a look for it. So here it is, um, Doom Vita. Let's go and test this out. So let's just press X just to go and start this up. So this was made using Unity. There are actually loads of new homebrew games coming out um, which are actually built using Unity. So that is really cool. It's really nice to see some high quality homebrew games on the PlayStation Vita. Okay, so it's just loading right now. Um, I don't know how long this takes, but as you can see, it's looking a lot like the Doom PC version. And there you go, it just loaded to 100% and we are in the game. So this is pretty much what it looks like. Um, I think it has sound as well, so let's just turn up the sound a bit. And yeah, as you can see, um, it's looking like Doom. So I'm pretty sure we can jump somehow as well. Yep, triangle to jump. Um, we can aim and shoot and everything like that. Switch weapons. So let's have a go. Let's try and shoot some enemies. So obviously I'm pretty bad um, at the angle I'm playing, but it's definitely pretty good. Um, the frame rate is really good actually, it feels so smooth. I will actually have a look to see what FPS is in a minute, if I just kill these creatures. So right now it looks like I'm using a shotgun. We have got several weapons on here, if you press left to right. Oh, and this is like a minigun, that's cool. Okay, I just think there's one more left. Where is it? Maybe it's all gone. Okay, so let's try and see what the FPS is on. If I just press select and up to bring up my LOL icon plugin, let's go into the OSD options and press X, show FPS, let's just turn this on and let's go back, back again. Actually, we can always go into overclock options and let's put it on a game default as well. Okay, now we can press select and down and there you go, it's running at a solid 30 FPS and I'm pretty sure it wasn't even on game default before. Maybe it was, I don't know. But yeah, this is definitely looking like a pretty good game. So if you guys want to play Doom over on your PS Vita, I definitely recommend giving this a try. So yeah guys, that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.